the city of Greater Dandenong is one of the most diverse municipalities in Australia. People from over 150 nations have made Greater Dandenong home and over 42 different languages are spoken here. Naturally, this diverse community practices a variety of faiths, covering all the major religions of the world. When Australian immigration policy was relaxed, people from different countries uh, came with different multicultural and multi-faith background. And then it was realized that there is a need and necessity for people to understand each other. In 1989, a group of leaders from a number of diverse backgrounds and faiths came together to form the faith communities of the city of Springvale. There was some adverse publicity at the time about Asian youth in Springvale uh, being covered in the, the media. And as they had a two-year program for access and equity, and they had an officer, uh, Joyce Ribeiro, they kind of thought it would be a good idea if they could find a group of people within the municipality who could show some leadership uh, for the rest of the community. And uh, she thought, well, if we can get uh, leaders of religion to, to come together, that would surely be, you know, the thing. And that's how it started. That's uh, how it all began. Today, with an expanded membership of faiths and an amalgamation of councils, the group is now known as the Interfaith Network of the City of Greater Dandenong. The Baha'i Faith is dedicated to the promotion of a world civilization characterized by the brotherhood of man under the fatherhood of God. Well, the fundamental principle of the Baha'i Faith is the oneness of mankind. In other words, the Prophet Baha'u'llah, his mission is to unify the peoples of the world. It actually originated uh, in Persia, which is now known as Iran, uh, in 1844. Uh, so it's been going now for about 160 odd years. The network works in equal and independent partnership with the city of Greater Dandenong. The Interfaith Network, I would say, has one objective, uh, to work wherever we can for peace and harmony within the city. And this is really done in partnership with the Council. Council has a very good relationship with the network and is very, very supportive of the network. Um, the Interfaith Network has been um, an instrument, if you like, of harmony within the city. That's been very helpful in times of international strife where um, we may have expected some reprisals or anger towards them. That hasn't happened really in Greater Dandenong and we believe that that's as a result of the Interfaith Network's work within the community. Buddhism is a religion and a philosophical system that teaches that elimination of the self and earthly desires is the path to enlightenment, which is the highest goal. The Buddha, like, like us, like everybody, a person like you. So, we believe to the Buddha because the Buddha is a philosophy man, or the Buddha is a real person not a god. Seven faiths and two spiritual organizations are part of the network and their combined membership represents the vast majority of the city of Greater Dandenong's population. Network meets once every month on the every first Wednesday of the month for two hours and uh, meetings start with the prayer by a particular representative or leader of a faith and uh, basically we discuss the reports from the Education Committee, History Committee and many other committees which are part of our network. Christians are people who believe in the one God as revealed in Jesus and the Spirit. The Christian community is called the people of God. People show their faith in everyday life which of course is believed to be coming through worship, what 
Christians do when they go to worship on Sunday to listen to the scriptures and listen to the sermon and sing the hymns and pray, then these sustain them. They give them, if you like, the guidance. They give them the strength to go out into the community. One of the initiatives of the Interfaith Network was the production of an information kit. The Network's Information Kit is really a valuable resource. It's, a condensed, it's condensed information covering all the faiths and the spiritual organisations that are in the Network. The kit has all the information about the Interfaith Network. It has things like the Common Statement, which is uh, basically the Network's vision. Um, and it has information about the relationship between Council and the Interfaith Network as well as the book explaining all the different religions. One of the ways that we use the uh, kit is where people ring up and I do get people calling me up all the time requesting the kit for information. They might be wanting to start off their own Interfaith Network or uh, they might just want information so we send them off all the time. Hinduism is not confined to one book or prophet. It's not an organised religion with a monastery, church or mission. It's open to various interpretations and practices. Well, Hinduism is a very vast and very profound religion. Um, it was never uh, founded by anyone. It is a religion which has come through the mouth of the God itself, which is the Creator. And uh, it is a philosophy of life or the way of life you lead. So what you do in the day-to-day -day life and sort of thing is part of the Hindus. And Hindus, we do worship, the deities worship through the temples, the meditation, and the, uh, the self-service as well. So in many ways, we worship the supreme godhood, or you can say supreme divinity, which has got many names. The partnership with the City of Greater Dandenong means that the Interfaith Network is involved regularly in Council meetings. Before Council's meetings, they always open with a prayer. Now the prayer will be from each of the different faiths, so each time there will be one faith, and it may be said in English or in the language of the person who's saying it. But the other thing that they do is they, they're an important part of the mayoral induction every year and uh, they, they're invited to the induction and they come usually dressed in their traditional dress and read out the common statement. And the common statement uh, basically uh, just repeats every year the network's intention to work for peace and harmony with council for the residents. Islam is not a new religion but the same truth that God revealed through all his prophets to every people. Muslims follow a religion of peace, mercy and forgiveness. I think one of the important things for, for a Muslim um, is the belief in one God. That there is only one God and that we worship him alone. We don't worship, as some people say, we, Muhammad or any other prophet. We actually worship God and we believe in all the messengers that came with Muhammad being the final messenger.